the Indian Air Force chief has said that the MMRCA tender for 114 fighter jets could be the last instance of relying on foreign manufacturers for its aircraft requirements. The medium-weight fighter will be ready for its first flight in 2023 and will exceed the performance of upgraded Mirage 2000. The final design aspect of the AMCA is almost frozen, but the fighter jet won't be ready for production before 2035, as the next generation technology asked by the Indian Air Force will be ready in the next few years. New evolving radars and ground sensor capabilities will reduce the effect of stealth in the long run, so the Indian Air Force have decided to invest in the development of data-centric fusion sensors and technology with the aid of artificial intelligence, instead of developing a fifth-generation aircraft with 4.5-generation technology. The Indian Air Force will continue to focus on the development of indigenous technology with the Tejas Mark 1A medium-weight fighter and AMCA program, along with unmanned combat air vehicle and the wingman program. India and Germany have launched an international collaborative project on advanced fiber reinforced metallic composite, which focuses to manufacture components with superior mechanical and physical properties which can be used in the automotive and aerospace sectors. Industry experts have said that the program would help the cause of advanced technology, product development and manufacturing, and will also boost the Make in India drive. Dassault Reliance Aerospace Limited is planning to start the production of fuselage assemblies of Falcon 2000 aircraft as a next step. The facility started operations with smaller components like assembly of cockpit and fuel tank, while the production of the fuselage assemblies is planned to start in August, which will be a major step towards a bigger plan of flying an entire Falcon 2000 from the Indian unit by 2022. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the spin tests of the indigenous HTT-40 would be completed by December, and the first trainer can be delivered to the Indian Air Force within a year. Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the Defence Ministry has already committed to buy 70 aircraft, and the import requirement of 36 Pilatus PC-7 Mark II trainers can also be added to the indigenous order, which would also decrease the cost per aircraft, as the total number of aircraft will cross 100. India's Mazagin dock ship builders has expressed its readiness to assist the government to develop the Tima shipyard of Ghana into a multi-purpose facility that can design ships and accessories for the West African market. The shipyard has design capabilities to undertake detailed design of surface ships for both military and commercial use, and India has the needed capacity to support Ghana to secure its territorial waters. Three national-level trade unions and workers of 41 Indian Ordnance Factories under the Kolkata Headquartered Ordnance Factory Board have said that they will go on a month-long strike from 20 August, in protest against the central government's decision to corporatize and privatize all units. Ever since the center introduced new laws to facilitate production of defense systems by private players in collaboration with foreign partners, a large section of officials and staff of the ordnance factories were apprehending this step. The unions have described the strike as the first phase of the movement, and have demanded withdrawal of the government's decision.